Uh, have you seen all the all the different uh, all the different art walk? I mean, all the different art on the. No. Over. If you go down first, all the way down, there's beautiful stuff. Uh, hold on one second. Um, and so you're going and documenting all the. I've been documenting the homeless for the last 20 years on my own, and um, I'm still doing it. I I pass a friend of mine. I pass out food on Sundays around 2:30. We do about three to 400 people. Um, there's another. I just saw another group doing it right now, that's, which is awesome. But I've been going around every every day just to see what's different. Yeah, because yesterday that was just plywood. Right. And today it's painted. Actually, last night when I was driving by, it was a uh, doctor doing stuff down the street. Uh, there's a guy named Easy, something like that, who just started. But at the same time, too, the city's more cleaned up. You don't see people on the street, but it, I think what I see on the street is worse. You know, there all the shelters have closed, basically, half and half, and there's no food. So I'm just documenting, trying to figure out, you know, what isolation really is. And then what, can, can we have your name? My name's Aurelio. And, and what kind of uh, internet can we find this document? I just do it on? for myself. Okay. You know, I write little stories. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I just, I think that there's too many people telling the story, but nobody's really listening. Yeah. So I, I, I'm a hairstylist, so I share it with my, my people who sit in my chair. I share it with my stories with them, and 90% of them are involved in what I do, and so, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, we're the Public Interest Issue Show on Seattle Community Media. Uh -huh. So we're a TV show. Okay. So sometime, would you call us up and let us be involved with Oh, filming yeah, absolutely. you doing good works i you know um there's there a lot of amazing people out there I, you know there, and you're amazing too because you notice that yeah but i, I mean I you're noticing everything i'm just one of those people who pays attention you know and, nice you know and and this whole this whole epidemic i i think that at the same time too i hope that people actually take to account that we're all homeless no matter no matter how big our house are you know and we all required helping hands without anybody having to pat us on the back for doing it and I, I you know um, I think that people need to learn to be more real more often yeah because we're all struggling everybody's struggling you know there I was listening to NPR and they're talking about um, what people are doing to maintain their hair and their nails. I'm like, why is that important? I'm a hairstylist, why is that important? You know, why, if that's so important, then you're not understanding what's going on. Staying alive. Yeah, but not even that, helping out people because how many people are hurting, how, like this right here. This is, a, a, you know, a sign that maybe a hundred people are hurting right now. Because they were there. always open on New Year's and they were always open. Thanksgiving and, yeah, and then you Christmas. See, I mean, everybody, if you can walk, you can walk anywhere in Pioneer Square and everybody shut down. So maybe about, I would say, I'm not, maybe a thousand to two thousand people are hurting without income. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, and who's really doing anything? I think we're all waiting for the next person to do it without it stepping out. You don't need to go outside. You know, you can just go on, online and donate. You, you can go online and make extra food for, for your neighbors. You, there's so many things you can do. Like you said, in Occidental Square, they have somebody handing out food right now. Yeah. People could do that. Right. People know people are hurting. Yeah. And then there's a cop right there with a loudspeaker saying something. Probably telling people to get off the street or go in. Because you know you're not supposed to be out or congregating. Actually, the people who are handing out food are probably congregating. Oh. So that could be it, you know. And yeah, it's just it's just interesting. It's this whole, um, you know, I don't know what the other word, but isolation. You know. I, I this is isolation right here. Yeah. This is the word for it. Yeah. And, yeah. And it, yeah, but. It, but Again, I hope people understand what's going on. It's not even, you know, this whole um, making a, a payroll for yourself or putting money in the bank, I think it's great. 
But if it's just there doing nothing, when we have the biggest homeless area in the country, and then you can't even walk into a grocery store without somebody asking you, you know, I'm guilty of just wanting to walk away from it. You know, I'm truly guilty about it. You know, but at the same time too, I, I have to do something. You know, you just have to. You know, because you don't know when it's your turn. You know, and there, there's a prayer that I live by. Ooh, it's gonna kill me. Is uh, prayer of St. Francis. And he, you know, the prayer is all about what I have is yours, basically. I'll feed you, I'll dress you, I'll shelter you, you know, all in the name of love. That's it. Well, thank you for being out here and documenting this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. My show is called Public Interest Issue Show. Do you have, uh, and it's on Seattle Community Media. Okay. So, yeah. So, why don't you give me your info and I'll just take it down. Okay. I'll just have you just... My talk. name is Janet. Well, it's easier if I, if I just get it on... Go to Google. No, just say what you are. Hi, my name is Janet Christensen O'Brien. My show is called Public Interest Issues Show. It's on Seattle Community Media and it's on Vimeo Daily Motion all over Google. My phone number is 206-854-0375. If you've got a story and I like it, I'll put it on the air. So call me up. I want to hear from you. And I want to document what's going on right now. This is history. And I care. You care. We all care. So, you know, we need to videotape this and we need to get it out because this is like the worst thing we've ever seen in our lives. It's remarkable. Thank you. No, thanks. Um, and it's so weird because... And I, you can put that on the air. I will. Yeah. Um, I think what's interesting is that for me, I have nothing to compare it to. Oh, I do. It's epidemic. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's basically it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'll be 60 in a couple of weeks, but I, uh, you know, I've never been on the streets. I've never been without. And at the same time, too, I, I, uh, I'm not afraid to give it all back. Yeah. You know, and it's worse than a hurricane. It's that. worse than a tornado. It's worse than a natural disaster because we don't know at what point this can kill us. But it, the, it, the only thing is this, what you just said. Okay. We had an opportunity to get under everything. Right. A hurricane, you know when it's coming. A tornado, you got a couple of seconds. And then you know, you, you know what to do. You hide and protect yourself. Here, we had an opportunity, but the person in charge went golfing. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> and and we need the government to help the states. We need people to help each other. We need to look around and see what's going on and pay attention to it. That's just the right word. You need to pay attention. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank thank you. you so much. Thanks. And get a hold of me if you want to. I will. I'm out there. I'm I'd love to. This way if you want to just walk. Oh yeah. yeah! Can I film you a little more? Sure. Oh, how nice! Okay. I just really appreciate yeah. uh, you documenting all of this. Yeah, I, I've been doing it for a while, you know, and I, I've been coming out, making sure that I'm out here early mornings before the city wakes up. Nice. You know, I think it's really important to, you know, I, I post it on, um, I do send it to some of my friends. Nice. You know, and they're all like, stay safe, be crazy, you know. We understand what you're doing, but stay safe. Yeah. Let's see who's that over there. Hmm. I don't know that guy. I know most of the people on the streets. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you letting us yeah. do a show on you. Hey, how's it going? Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know what's interesting? There would be a long line here right now. Of people having breakfast and getting in. And getting in at night. And if you if you go to that to the window over there, you should go look at it. There, okay. It's empty. The window is empty? Yeah. There's no guy right there to let you in? No, you can't go in. Walk, walk, walk across the street real quick. No, the food service where they sell, where they feed you. And at Christmas, they had tables right here in the road. Right. And they were feeding the homeless 
right here they had a big banquet yep and what does this sign say So it is still open. Oh, it's still open. So what they did, they, they uh, limit the people who are coming in now. And you normally would see this busy. And this is their lunch room. This is where they all yeah. eat. And then their kitchen is right, if you keep walking, the kitchen's right there. Okay. Hey. It's closed completely. Okay. So. So there's nobody cooking. Right. There's nobody making food. Not, not even handing out coffee. And at this time of the day, they'd always be handing out something. They would. Wow. I just think everything is important. 